Okay, this is number 18. Now we have these uh, absolute values and inequalities, and we have to break these up. We have to change this to a disjunction or a conjunction whenever we have this. And the easiest way to check this is, uh, well, I, I use the kind of way to remember this. If we look at the greater than, you can make that into an R just by putting a little line there and a little line there. So R is an OR, so we know that that becomes OR. If I can make it into an R, it's an AND. So that's a little way of remembering that. So this is going to break up into, a, since I can't make it into an R, it's going to be an AND. And then I just break this up into two parts. First of all, I write it exactly the way it is without the absolute value bars. And then I reverse and negate. I reverse the inequality, and then I negate the number, whatever that is. I negate that. Okay? And I've got these two possibilities, and then I just solve both these little inequalities. So here I just uh, subtract 4, and then... Uh, divide or multiply by negative 1, which means I've got to change the direction of the inequality. And the same thing over here, I subtracted 4, and then divided by negative 1, change the direction of the inequality, so I got x is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 5, so x is between 3 and 5. So this is the trick, how to break this up into these two simple inequalities. So this becomes an AND, Write it exactly as is, and then just reverse and negate. Okay, letter B is a little bit easier. This is uh, just an absolute value equality. So if the absolute value of a number equals 8, that means the number could either be 8 or it could be negative 8, because the absolute value of either of these is 8. So I just say 5x minus 2 equals 8, or 5x minus 2 equals negative 8. And then solve both these simple little equations. Add 2 divide by 5. 5 and you get 2. Add 2, negative 6, divide by 5, you get negative 6 fifths. Okay. And then letter C, the same idea. If the absolute value of this equals this expression, then this would either equal this expression or it's negative. That's what the absolute value tells you. So I wrote it down over here in those two simple equations. So 2x plus 1 either equals x plus 3 or 2x plus 1 equals negative x plus 3. Very similar to what we did up here with the 8's, you see. 8 and negative 8. There you go. x plus 3 and negative x plus 3. Then I just solve both these simple equations. Subtract x, subtract 1, you get x equals 2. Multiply out, add x, subtract 1, and divide by 3, x equals negative 4 thirds. So those are pretty easy. Just don't have to, have to know how to translate that absolute value into two simple situations.